Hello YouTube and fellow Sentinels, welcome back to another unboxing. This one's gonna be the evic.com Big Bang 2016 or 2016 Big Bang Edition. Um, a lot of cool guns in this box. Uh, the weight on this one, it, it they told me that it shipped at 14 pounds. So I think, uh, yeah, it was 14 pounds is what it shipped at. So let's see if it's anything good. Um, like I mentioned, a lot of nice guns in this one. Of course, there's some things you don't want. Um, but what I really would love is one of those patches. I have been collecting, and I really do want one of those rare patches. So let's see. Incidentally, those rare patches come with nice guns. So that's always a plus too. But yeah, like I said, 14 pounds, guys. Let's see what this comes in at. I also bought two, um, two things. The little backing to repair the mask, which is awesome because I'll definitely wear it and keep it. That's great. And then I bought something for my little guy. Here. So here we go. in there like I mentioned the bulb holder for the Geiger rig and then the backing uh, piece to attach for the mask their piece is broken right here this one's definitely way more solid no holes so it'll definitely stay I'll start sporting that mask that looks kind of cool and be fun So we got the uh, Desert Eagle plastic pistol. Um, this is rated on the 0.12s for its FPS, which is like uh, 170 or something like that. But 0.12s, uh, junk gun, but I have a couple, so give them away at an event later. An extra speed loader. This is a little bit longer hand speed loader, so it's kind of cool to hold a couple more BBs. But again, I use the Odin Innovations. This one will be more for like tornado grenades, things like that. So I might definitely keep that one. Looks like an A and K. Let's see what it is. Oh, definitely an A and K. A and K have really nice boxes. They also have decent guns. <laughs> Am I gonna get my butt kicked by another box today? Ah, oh, you don't see anything yet. Okay, here we go. Hopefully it's good. All right. <laughs> Got the Masada DMR. Very cool. I was like hoping to God it was the SR25. So as you guys know, I just bought the Masada gas blowback. Love the gun. I think it's awesome. Now I've got an AEG version for the electric um, DMR version of this gun, which is really cool. Very, very cool gun. So this one does not have the folding stock option. It is a fixed stock um, with, of course, cheek rest, up and down measurements. Now, this being a DMR, I have built a sniper. I may be able to just put the uh, the sniper or the scope on this and use that, but we'll see. It's got the charging handle, which just opens up your um, hop-up area, so you can go ahead and flip your hop-up. Now, it's really interesting. It's got a clear, uh, clear hop-up chamber, so it's kind of cool. Um, but I use only pro win hop ups in all my in all my guns that are you know anything electric besides the of course PTW that one's it's proprietary stuff. But I use pro wins. I have two of them right now. One in the uh, sniper, and then of course an extra one just sitting around, which I may just throw into here if it if it uh, if it matches up. But very cool. So of course they give you a high cap, which I just don't care for. But the gun is really solid. Um, feels cool. Nice polymer. I don't know if it's a uh, Magpul quality. It, it feels like it off the bat, but but there's a there's something about it where if you if you hold it a little more and squish it, it doesn't feel as good as the Magpul stuff. I don't know if it is or not. Maybe that's just me thinking. Hey, it's ANK. It's not you know PTS product, but it does feel like it. So I'm not sure. Let's see what else is in the box. BBs on jamming rod. This must be a hop-up adjustment tool or a screwdriver of some sort for something. I think it's for hop-up. So flip-up rears with, of course, elevation and windage adjustment. So very cool gun, man. Very cool gun. I love Masadas in general, guys. I think that they're just a beautiful gun. Well, thank you very much for joining me on this brief unboxing, guys, where uh, we made out with a DMR, uh, ANK DMR Masada, a very cool gun, uh, another Deagle, which is a crap springer, and... 
I'm hoping this is some kind of a bonus prize, the um, six millimeter plunging. So I think in general, we made it out pretty good. I'll never use this high cap because high caps suck. Always go mid caps, guys. Don't wanna give away your position with the shake. Thanks again for watching. Comment, let me know what you guys got. And remember, always call your hits.